Hi and welcome Blender fans! I've been asked to create a tutorial about cycles and texturing, so I recorded this really simple example about a wood material. So let's jump right into Blender 2.78. I prepared this scene, switched to Cycles Renderer. It contains a very simple model. This will represent the walls of a room. And I added here the sky texture for my scene. And it will look like this very easy. First thing we want to do is to create a material for these walls and this will just be a diffuse material. We leave this as is, call this material wall and turn up the value to a full and bright white. After that I will create a plane, move it to 0, 0, 0 and scale this up just like this. And again, I will create a new material and I will call this material wood. So next step will be to switch to edit mode and unwrap this plane. I will enable my screencast add-on so that you can see which keys I am pressing. Press U key and then press unwrap. Now this plane is unwrapped and we are able to add textures to it. Let's open up the node editor and have a look at this newly created material. By default it is a diffuse material in white, but I want to add the texture now. So choose texture and press open and I downloaded a wood texture from textures.com which you can download for free. I added the link to the description of this video. Okay, now we have this image here in our node setup and now connect the color of the image with the color input of the diffuse shader. And now this already looks really good. Of course, too big. So we have to scale this and I will show you how you can do this. You have to be in edit mode and have your plane selected then open the UV image editor, choose the image and now you can press the S key and scale this mapping up and because we have a seamless texture this works quite nicely. You can see this here in the right corner. Okay, now we have assigned our texture, our diffuse texture. But we can improve this by adding height information of this wood and therefore I will use exactly the same texture and a so-called bump node. That's a very easy method to do this and it works really good for wood material. So let's add the bump node, connect the texture with the height input of the bump node and then connect the normal output of the bump node with the normal input of the diffuse shader. And now look at this. Really good. You can lower the strength of the bump node a little bit to decrease the height. And once we are happy with this, we can render this out. I set the resolution to 100% of the rendering and the tile size to 256 to fasten up my rendering with GPU. Okay, I really hope you find this tutorial useful. I added the link here to subscribe to my channel, please do so, and another link to a previous tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here on my channel.